Hey, this is Joel with 4K Equipment. We got a video today of a GPS civil construction Basin Rover GPS comparison here and their software. On the left, we got the Trimble R750 base station, Zephyr Geodetic Model 3, SPS 986 Rover, and TSE 7 data collector. This one's got SiteWorks software, which is their civil construction software. Uh, they run a modular base setup, which you can also get another 986 or an R780 configured with transmit and use that as your base station. Um, this one can give you a little better satellite reception and radio range. This is the Trimble TSE 7 with SiteWorks civil construction software. Um, so here we're kind of on the main menu. We've got our job loaded, the 4K equipment job with our yard and shop. Um, right now we're on the kind of the cut fill setting where it's giving you a cut and fill to the surface that we have loaded in. Um, up on the top here, you're going to have your position quality. So we have the satellites that we're receiving, um, fixed position, and then your position quality. Our position right now is indicated by this wheel here. And what we're going to do first is open up Grav 1 and we'll stake out a point. So we're going to stake out menu. We're going to go to filter. We want a point and let's go Grav 1, accept. Now we have Grav 1 selected, accept. Now the position's shown with a line and distance, and we'll go ahead and follow that to the indicated stakeout point. As you get close, this dot will pop up on the far right and allow you to get a little bit tighter accuracy into the point. Level the rod. and you have your point staked out. Um, you can also select lines. If we go to the stake out menu, filter, line, we'll go to the building pad, accept, accept. Now our indicated position is shown to the line we have selected. Go to stake out that line using the inward and outward up on the top right is going to be your position from the line you have selected then we got the topcon hyper vr basin rover kit um, these are also interchangeable they both have receive and transmit radios so they can work as either a base station or a rover as needed this is the topcon fc 6400 tablet with Pocket 3D software, which is their construction civil software. They also have magnet field for surveying and layout as well. So here we have the Topcon FC6400 with Pocket 3D, the civil software. Um, here's kind of the main menu here. We have our 4K job loaded on it as well. You got a cut fill light bar on the left side here, northern easting elevation, your position quality, pull height. Um, the bottom is gonna be all your control settings. So here would be where you change your receivers, any sort of radio settings, base moving, anything like that. The data settings is gonna be your project. So starting at the top sites, we have the 4K job in, but all your projects would go under this and you'd select the one that you're using accordingly. Tools is gonna to be where you're doing all of your site work out of. So starting from the top, we're gonna to stake out. Uh, surface check is gonna be for cut fill. So now on the left side here, we're getting a constant update on the cut fill to the surface you have selected. We'll stop the stakeout on that. And what we'll do is stake out a point. So stake out control point. We'll select grab one like the others. Now we have an updated position of where we are, a direction arrow and distance to the point. So we'll do the same thing. Walk over to the points. We need a constant update of our position and the distance as we walk. So we'll go ahead and level the rod here. And we have that selected. You can get this as close as you need. Um, also on the bottom left here, you have your satellite info. Here you have a fixed position, the satellites you're using your position, and your satellite map. Same thing with the line. We'll go to the tools. We're gonna stop our current stakeout. 
and we're going to stake out a polyline this time. So we'll select the property corner here. Offset, I'm going to put zero, but you can change this to whatever whatever's needed. So now it's the same as the point, but instead of a distance to the point, it's giving you a distance to the line. So as you walk along it, it's going to give you a kind of a constant update there. Then we have the Leica Basin Rover Kit. This is the ICG-60 base station and the ICG-70 Rover. These are running at 900 megahertz. You can get them at 450 to 470 if you need as well. And then this is the CC200 Leica tablet with Icon Sight or Icon Build software. Okay, this is the Leica Icon Sight and Icon Build software. Up on the top left corner, we have your projects folder, which is projects and jobs. You have multiple open, you can reopen them, put different projects in different project folders. Also your import and delete settings to import your data, job files. Up on the top, you have your information. So you have your devices you're connected to, base station info, your position info, along with your position quality. And then you have your satellites. You can go in there and see exactly which satellites you're using. Your antenna height, which is crucial for surface and cut fill. Up on the top, you have your radio settings. So this would be your channel and your, your last receive signal and your percentage. Um, so you want to make sure those are quality. Back here. So now what we're going to do at the bottom left corner, you have your applications. So as built would be creating points. You also have stakeout and layout. That's what we're going to be using. So we'll be using the stakeout menu. We're going to go here. We're going to select grab three from the point list. Now we're getting an updated directions to the point along with your position. As I walk, it's going to be closer and closer. Your updated position quality, where you're going. As you get tight, it's going to open up a circle. And as you level, you're going to get a green indicator once you're tight. And you can get this tolerance as tight as you need to. Now we're going to go ahead and measure it. The other application you can do is lay out lines. So you can select a line. Now this distance at the top here is giving us a distance to the line based off of which side you're on. So as we go out from the line and in from the line, we'll get an updated position.